Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see by the title of this video, I am super excited to announce that it is that time of the year. It's a Sephora VIP sale! Woo! I am so excited because this is literally like Christmas in April for me, okay? I have been waiting for the sale to come around since the last one, which was in November. So what we're gonna do today is go through everything that I put in my wish list. Not really my wish list, more of like my shopping cart into the Sephora app. And it's a lot. We're gonna go through all the items, things that are gonna be repurchases, things that I would recommend picking up, so on and so forth. Now, before I get into the video, please do me a favor and give the video a thumbs up if this is the type of content that you'd like to watch. Also, if you find yourself coming back to my channel quite frequently, I I would really appreciate it if you can click that subscribe button as well as a little notification bell that comes next to the subscribe button because you'll actually then be notified of when I do upload my videos. And yeah, without further ado guys, we're just gonna roll into it. Okay, like I said, this is my favorite time or times of the year. I have literally been waiting for the sale for almost six months <laughs> and I've been holding off on purchasing quite a few products just because you get money off. Okay, there are three different tiers at Sephora. Um, you do have to be a part of the rewards program in order to get the percentages off. And depending upon what level you are in the rewards program, you get different percentages off. There are three main tiers, okay? The first tier is somebody who's normally just gonna be a casual shopper at Sephora. You're gonna go in, the cashier is pretty much just gonna ask you, have you joined our Beauty Insider program? If you're like, oh, I don't really know what it is, I only go to Sephora like once or twice a year, I still highly recommend at least joining the program. You don't pay anything for it, it's not like a credit card, there's no like enrollment fee, nothing. You literally just start to collect points. Yes, you will get their emails. Put it in junk if you're not somebody who actually wants to receive those emails. They are super helpful though because if you just join, you get 10% off. So during the period of which the sale is going on, you get 10% off. So after the Beauty Insider reward points, you have the next tier, which are those shoppers who spend at least $350 per year at Sephora and you utilize obviously your phone number or your point systems. You don't actually have to utilize the points that you get, but you have to spend a minimum of $350 in order to qualify to become a VIB, which is very important beauty. Um, that will actually grant you 15% off during the periods in which that sale is going on. Now, we come up to the third tier, and this is the top tier they have at Sephora. The next tier is actually the one that I fall into, which is the Sephora VIB Rouge. It means that you spend at least $1,000 per year or more in Sephora. You actually get 20% off during the periods in which that sale is occurring. A benefit of being a Rouge member, one, you actually do get more points towards every purchase that you, that you make, either in store or online. You get a higher amount of points entered into your little bucket. Um, you get a higher percentage off during the VIB sales, and then you actually can start purchasing the product and your sale begins sooner than the beauty insiders as well as the VIBs. I hope that was a good little synopsis for you guys. Sales typically roll around twice per year, normally around April slash early May, and then again around late October, early November, possibly even late November, early December. But a couple of years ago, they did start rolling out another sale around late August to early September, which is more of just a VIB appreciation sale, which really gives you the exact same percentages off for that period of time. During these periods of times are the only times that you can actually get money off of pretty much every single product that they have at Sephora. Now, doesn't matter what the product is, typically everything, I think the only things that are included, that are excluded, it's very, very, very few. I think there's only like four or five different brands that are excluded from the sale. One is The Ordinary. I know that because uh, they are super affordable, but so they're not included. And there is like a couple of other special occasions for brands where they don't participate in the actual sale itself. But other than that, 99% of the brands that you find at Sephora, whether it's online or in store, are going to be included in the sale. And normally guys, to be honest, Sephora doesn't do sales, okay? I have never seen a sale outside of the VIB sales as well as member appreciation sales, again, which totals up to three times per year. So to get into the dates, I looked this up last week because I still hadn't seen that it had rolled out and I was honestly a little bit curious about whether Sephora was going to roll their sale out this year um, or this time, simply because we're, we are all in quarantine and because a lot of people are furloughed or collecting unemployment at this point because we're not actually working. I know that you can't actually go into the stores because I'm anticipating that they're not going to open the stores prior to the sale beginning. So I'm assuming everybody's gonna have to just purchase their products online. Totally fine though because Sephora actually does do have really fast shipping. During 
the VIB sale though, shipping might be delayed a couple of days. What I found as a VIB Rouge member, I do get, I believe it's two free day shipping, but normally around the VIB sale, it typically takes like three to four days. But if you go into it knowing and anticipating that, it should be fine. So for Rouge, again, keep in mind, Rouge gets a couple of days earlier for the sale. The sale is going to run from April 17th to May 1st. And then VIB is a little bit sooner than Insider, which is going to be April 21st through April 29th. And then if you're just a regular beauty insider, you get the 10% off. The sale starts for you April 23rd through April 27th. So this time they're actually doing it a little bit differently where they're making it shorter for each tier. So, so, so for the Rouge members, you get an extended period of time to which you can spend money. VIB is about the middle range and then insiders are a little bit smaller than that. Okay. Whew, that was a lot to say. Now what I want to do is actually get into my products. I tend to go into the Sephora sales in two different ways, okay? I go in for products that are either going to be repurchases, ones that I know that I'm absolutely going to repurchase at some point throughout the year, just so I can save that 20% off. So they're gonna be my staples when it comes to my skincare and my makeup, or products that I get through pr fairly frequently. I also tend to purchase items that are going to be those high ticket items that I really don't want to spend the high money on, but I really either want to give it a try or I know that I'm going to love just based on reviews that I've seen online or because I have experience with those products. So I am going to go through all of my products with you guys. You can obviously use a sale just for products that you are going to, you, you've been interested in, you might want to try out for the first time. That's totally fine. You can still return your items because um, Sephora does have an amazing return policy. If you don't like an item, if it's the wrong shade or whatever the case is, and you haven't used up all the product, you can go into the Sephora store or send it back to Sephora and they will refund you your money. I don't recommend using the sale for brand new foundations just because I find that to be really high waste. And also you can always go into a Sephora store to get shade match and they will always give you a sample of foundations that you might want to try prior to purchasing it. But again, I know we're all in quarantine. So girl, you do you. you a sale for however you want. This is just how I move forward with the sale. Now, in terms of products, products that I use very frequently and that I am absolutely going to repurchase at some point throughout the year, and I do repurchase these every about two to three months, so I will probably be stocking up on getting one or two additional of these just so I have them until the next sale, are going to be mostly skincare related. I tend to keep my skincare regimen fairly regular. Now, the only products I really stray from to try out are going to be my moisturizers because I don't find that moisturizers really differ from one another to be really honest. And I know that my skincare junkies out there are going to hate me for saying that, but I don't think that moisturizers really do much specialty work. I tend to get sent out a lot of um, complimentary moisturizers in PR, so I never really spend money on moisturizers, so that's not something that I'm going to repurchase. But my serums, because I know that they are tried and true to me, this is the time that I will spend the money to get my serums. The first serum um, that I'm going to be repurchasing, I really don't need to wait for the Sephora sale for because it is already very affordable. It's from the Inky List and it is going to be the Q10 Antioxidant Serum. I have been using this since I was sent this from Inky List last June, I believe it was, is when they sent it to me in PR. And I absolutely loved that serum so much. I have seen such a huge impact in my skin. I have very sensitive skin guys. And I've noticed since I've started using this product that the sensitivity and the redness in my skin has really dissipated. It hasn't completely gone away because it doesn't cure that symptom in my skin. Um, but it really has helped to calm down the redness and the sensitivity of my skin. So I will absolutely be repurchasing it again. It's $7. So I don't need to wait for the sale, but because I know that I will be repurchasing that at some point, I probably will stock up and get three or four of them just so I have it. Um, and just so I can save the money on it. The next product that I am going to be repurchasing is actually something that I've been waiting to purchase because it's very expensive, okay? And I've been holding off on repurchasing it knowing that Sephora VIB sale was going to come up and I have used it quite frequently over the past couple, past year or so. I've actually repurchased it about three times in the past and I think that I'm gonna stock up and get about two or three more so I can get through until the next sale, probably two more, just so I can get through to the next sale. Um, and it is this guy right here, it is the Drunk Elephant Be Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. I love the serum so much, okay? So, so, so much. 
It is pricey. It retails for around $50, but with the sale, I can get $10, about $10 off of the product. And I ran out of that about a month ago, guys, and I didn't want to repurchase it immediately. One, again, because I knew the sale was coming. Two, because I did quit my job and I wasn't anticipating the coronavirus kind of going how it was. So I figured that I would be without a job and without pay over the next couple of weeks. Um, so I've just been using a lot of products from the Inky List. And as much as the Inky List is absolutely amazing, and I love all their products, I have seen a slight difference in my skin since taking it out of my routine. And this is something that I absolutely cannot wait to get back into my routine and I will never go without. I use it day and night. I will be incorporating a different serum at nighttime. So I'll probably keep this to either a daytime or, and I'll get a different nighttime serum or at some point I'll just switch it around and get a different daytime serum and use this one at nighttime because it is meant to be used at night, but it is an amazing, absolutely amazing product. Another repurchase for me are going to be my shampoos and conditioners. I do spend a lot of money on shampoo and conditioner, guys, okay? I'm not somebody that, that any longer goes to Target or Walmart or the grocery store to get Garnier or Herbal Essence or any of those. I used to purchase those products in the past, but when I went blonde, I noticed they really started to trash my hair, essentially. It wasn't doing my hair any good. So I took my hairstylist advice and I invested in good um, hair care and I love the products. So my Olaplex shampoo and conditioner, I will absolutely be repurchasing. Currently, I am using the Living Proof. Where is it? The Living Proof Color Care Shampoo, and I will also be repurchasing that just so I have that because I do like to change up my shampoos quite frequently just so my hair doesn't get used to it. I don't know if that's even like a real thing to be honest if hair can actually get used to products but for me I find a difference in my hair when I tend to use the same shampoo for months and months and months on end I feel like it just isn't as effective so I change my shampoos up about once every one to two months and I switch them in and out and I really love the, the Olaplex shampoo it is very nourishing on my hair it cleanses my hair very well and is absolutely fantastic. I really have been loving my Living Proof Color Care Shampoo since I have gone a little bit darker because it's really helped to make my color last. I know I did just dye my hair, but I did also dye my hair prior to this in January as well as in February, and I feel like it did help to extend the color time in my hair. So I will be repurchasing those. The conditioner also I will be repurchasing as well as the number three. I don't actually have that on my list here, but I will be repurchasing the number three conditioning mask because that is my holy grail. I have been using the number three Olaplex um, at home serum slash hair hair mask. Why oh, can't I think of the term? I've been using that for years, probably like five years or so. And it makes my hair feel absolutely amazing. I use it about once every one to two weeks. And I definitely can tell the difference in my hair when I don't have it. So I will be restocking on those as well. Now I'm going through my list. Also, okay, oh, two more things that I have down here as repurchases. Um, the next one is actually something that I'm not really in the need and absolutely have to get right now, but over the next probably two months, I will be needing to repurchase this. And it is, I actually have it here somewhere. And I'll also pop it up here. It is my um, Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder, and I will be repurchasing the shade Dim Light. I do have Dim Light here. You guys can see I did totally hit pan. I am 100% out of these. this. I did purchase this. I don't, I don't remember when it was either a year ago or eight months ago or whatever it was and then I hit pan and I ran out so I went to Sephora and I picked up another shade which was luminous light because I just wanted to give it a different try and as much as I love this one I just find that for my skin tone and what I'm looking for out of a finishing powder because that's what I tend to use this for is not really a highlighter it's more of a finishing powder I just feel like dim light which is the shade, <laughs> tends to suit my skin type and my skin color a little bit better. I do love the luminous light one, but what I'm noticing is that when I put this on top of more of a dewy finish and just my dewier luminous finish products, it tends to look real like greasy on me and my skin doesn't get greasy. I do have very dry slash normal skin, so I never really get greasy, but it looks greasy because it's this one, luminous light just tends to be a little bit more of a highlighter and dim light to me is a little bit more of a finishing powder. I was just trying to give it a try. So what I'm going to do is actually just repurchase Dim Light, get my 20% off, and love it. The next thing that I'm also going to be repurchasing is something that I have repurchased quite a few times, and I believe that I've been putting this, or I have put this in favorites, uh, favorite vid videos in the past, and I use it pretty much, not pretty much, but I do, I use this every single day, it is the Marc Jacobs Highlighter Gel Eye Crayon. I have used quite a few of these, guys. I think I've gone through like four of these. This... I know is a very pricey item. It originally retails for $26. So yes, $26 for an eyeliner. If you are not a makeup junkie, you're probably like, why? 
I get it, okay? And before I really got into makeup and beauty and all that, I used to look at people and be like, why would you spend $26 on an eyeliner? I, I get it, guys. But this eyeliner is like no other eyeliner I have ever used before. Every other eyeliner that I have ever used transfers from my top lid to my bottom lid because I use this not really for anything outside of my eyes. I use it for my waterline. But this guy does not transfer. He lasts all day long and he's absolutely amazing. And you get a ton of product in here. Um, you don't have to sharpen it. It is a retractable pencil. I am almost out. Like I literally have this much left. Like I, I'm trying to like turn him up. You can hear it's giving me the clicky sound. I get this one. I think this one's in the shade brown out. I have also used cocoa and I believe I've used earthquake. I think it's called. Um, they're all browns essentially. They're all in the brown family because I tend to gravitate more towards a brown liner in my waterline just because I do have light eye colors. Um, I did receive the Marc Jacobs highlighter, a sample size in one of my Sephora play boxes in the shade Black Core. Um, and I do really like this. It's actually what I have in my eyes today, but it just is a little bit too harsh on me. And I really want to get another one of my brown ones. And I actually will be repurchasing a brown one as well as a light colored one. I'm also going to be purchasing the shade in the buff. 80, which is just going to be a white slash cream color, which is great to use on your water, your inner water line on the bottom. <laughs> Why can I say this? <laughs> your water line on your bottom lash line just to really brighten and open up your eyes. Um, I think I mentioned this a few of my videos before, but since I've been home more often, I do have two dogs and I am pretty sure that I am fairly allergic to my dogs. So my eyes have been pretty bloodshot over the past couple of weeks. And something that really helps to brighten up your eyes is one eye drops, obviously, like, but Sephora doesn't sell that. Two is if you actually go in with a light color, it really helps to open up your eyes, make your eyes look a little bit more awake, and it actually will help to make your eyes look like they're a little bit brighter, even if they're not. It gives you kind of an illusion which makeup is meant to do. Another product that I'm going to be kind of repurchasing, but not really repurchasing, and I know that I'm I'm repurchasing a lot of products. Yes, it is adding up. I get it. I'm going to be spending a lot of money, but I wait for these sales. I literally wait for these sales every single year and I wait and I kind of save my money to get all the products that I'm waiting for. So just clarifying that before I get into it. I received this product in one of my Sephora play boxes. It wasn't last month. I believe it was a month prior to that. And I kind of sat on it to be really honest, just because I had eyelash extensions and I do plan on getting my eyelash extensions put in in a couple of months. But I, right now I'm just kind of letting my lashes heal. And I haven't found a good mascara um, from either Sephora or Ulta or really high-end brands that have made me want to spend the money on purchasing a mascara that's more high-end because I feel like the quality of mascaras at the drugstore are fantastic. They're affordable. They're great. Um, I absolutely love my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. I think that one's amazing. But because I've had a lot of eyelash extensions for so long, uh, all of my mascaras have expired. And I will not put expired mascara on my eyeballs. So I have resorted to using all of the samples that I've collected over the past year in my uh, Sephora play boxes. And I am so glad that I opened this up because I completely forgot that I had it. But I will be purchasing this in its full size. And it is this guy right here. It's from Grande Cos Cosmetics. It is the Grande Drama Intense Thickening Mascara with castor oil. I've only been using this since Monday. Today is Saturday, so it's only been six days of me actually using it, but I cannot put it down. And honestly, I'm hoping that this can last me the next two weeks until the VIB sale rolls around because it is so good. I talk about this all the time. I have been using castor oil on my eyelashes since I removed them a couple of weeks ago, and castor oil works wonders on your lashes to really make them grow and also thicken them back up. I don't know if eyelash extensions actually cause damage to your eyelashes. I find they thin mine out and make mine fall a little bit because honestly, personally, I'm not an expert, but I think that if you're putting something that's not natural on your natural body, it's gonna cause a little bit of havoc because your body's not used to that, either weight or like glue or just artificialness on your eyelashes, especially when they're already so uh, fragile to begin with. So I like to take care of my lashes. So the fact that this has castor oil in it, it's amazing. Plus when you open up, it has such a fat little wand. So it really helps to not only separate your lashes, but volumize them as well as um, lengthen them. So if you, I'm gonna get a little bit closer to you guys right here. I'm zooming you guys in right here. Um, I don't, I'm hoping that you can tell because I'm not, I obviously can't look at the camera and look at my um, viewfinder as well, but I don't have any falsies on today.
day. Obviously I have eyeliner, so it's a little bit more difficult for you guys to see, but I have no falsies on. This is my lashes, 100% I'll turn to the side. Um, this is literally me two weeks post removing my eyelash extensions and my lashes are so full. This mascara has made it look like I have falsies on to the point where I don't even feel like I need to put falsies on nor even any individuals. I think this mascara is amazing and I'm going to spend the money. For the first time ever, I am going to spend the money to purchase a high-end mascara. And if you've watched my videos for a while, you'll probably know that I have used higher-end mascaras in the past, but those are ones that I've received either in a BoxyCharm, Sephora Playbox, Fat Fit Fun Box, those type of boxes. So this is the first time that I really honestly ever in my life will be purchasing a high-end mascara. I think that's all of my repurchases. Now I'm going to get into products that I am going to purchase and trying out for the first time. The first one is something that pretty much every beauty guru and every makeup lover out there has and I've been holding off <laughs> on actually trying this product simply because I didn't fully support the brand one and two because it was so expensive and I just kind of it's one of those products that I have always wanted to try but I always forget to pick up when I'm either in store or when I'm picking up products and I tend to always just look at it later on and I'm like oh I should pick that up so now's the time I have it at my wish list it is this guy right here it is the KVD vegan beauty shade and light face contour refillable palette <laughs> <laughs> it does originally retail for $49.50, so essentially $50. Um, I love it because I can get $10 off now. I'm super excited to try it because pretty much everybody who loves makeup has tried this product and has said amazing things about it. And because I am starting a new job and my workday will start a little bit sooner, I need to really consolidate my makeup routine, at least my work makeup routine, to something that's very quick and easy. And I need to be able to have more products in less space. And because this has both a my highlight as well as my contour, I can use this face palette for pretty much everything besides my overall face powder. So I'm super excited to give this one a try. Um, if you didn't know this, also, totally different side note here, um, KBD Beauty is no longer owned by Kat Von D and she was very controversial. And she, yeah, so she kind of sold her company about, I think it was six or seven months ago and they take a different company took over from there so she is in no way a part of that company i didn't support her uh which is a kind of a reason why i never really used a lot of her products um but now i don't feel any shame in doing so the next product i'm going to try for the first time is something that i'm actually going to grab in the mini size because i don't know how much i'm actually going to like it what is this one right here it is the lime and be a glow priming oil again i'm going to get the size in a mini um the mini does retail for 25 dollars originally i am super excited about this because i did swatch this on my hand when I went to Sephora in February and I thought about picking it up at that time but I hardly ever really use oils on my skin and uh, the word oil kind of freaks me out a little bit I know I should love it because I have dry skin and oils are amazing for dry skin but I use a lot of water-based foundations and foundation is something that I'm absolutely super passionate about like for some reason like every beauty person has their thing when it is in makeup some people love eyeshadows some people love lipsticks I love base makeup specifically foundations and if you think about chemistry I'm not good with science <laughs> it was just never one of my topics that I was really really good at but oil and water don't mix well so when I think of a primer that's more oil-based, it freaks me out a little bit to mix it with a water-based foundation, but I want to give it a try because it felt so good and so nourishing on my skin. And even though I'm using a lot of really good skincare products, makeup, no matter what type of makeup it is, is going to dry your skin out because you're putting product on your face and it's going to prevent my skincare from being able to pull in a lot of water from the humid air, which helps to plump skin up. But I think the oil product can really help it out with keeping it hydrated all day long. I'm just a little bit freaked out to use it, so that's why I'm getting the mini size. The next product I'm gonna try for the first time is the Huda Beauty Tantor Contour and Bronzer Cream in the absolute lightest shade that they have, which is fair because I've seen their shade rates and I've seen the reviews on them, and they do tend to lean more on the deeper side, which I think is absolutely fantastic, especially if you have deep skin, because finally, brands are coming out with a good color range in all products. And I am gonna pick up the fair shade because it looks like it's gonna be a good match for me. As much as I love using my drugstore products for contouring, and you'll see that in another video that I post, which is my drugstore starter makeup kit that I have coming out soon, uh, if I haven't already posted that already, I want something that is specifically meant for contour because I've never actually used 
Sorry about that guys, I reached the top time <laughs> for my camera and uh, it stopped recording and then I took a bite of Pop-Tart and then all of a sudden my screen went orange. So now here I am, 10 minutes later. Let's figure out where I was. I think I was talking about the Huda Beauty cream contour. So let me see, I forgot what I was saying about it, but essentially I'm really excited to try it out because I've never actually utilized a product that is specifically meant for cream contouring. And the older I get, the more interested I am in more cream and uh, emollient products, liquid products, um, and less powder, just because I feel like powder really does accentuate any fine lines, wrinkles, the aging process. So I'm gonna give it a try. It does originally retail for 30 dollars so that should be about six dollars off so i am super excited to try that so those are all the products that i 100 percent know that i will be picking up throughout the sale there are a couple of other products that i'm like eh, i don't really know if i want to give it a try but i've been looking at for quite a while one of which is very 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 expensive the other one is not so expensive but yeah so the first product is the eh, one i have been super interested in this foundation it is the wander beauty nude illusion liquid foundation it is online only it retails originally for 40 dollars i have been seeing a ton of my favorite youtubers raving about this for a year two years and when it originally came out um they absolutely love it they it claims to be i think a full coverage foundation, but it's supposed to be very luminous and lasts a long time in the skin and pretty much a foundation that is like a dream wonder for everybody with dry skin. And I've been looking at getting it for so long, but I've held off because as much as I love foundations, I have an excessive amount of foundations. Okay, like literally an excessive amount of foundations. I have over, I think it's 75 foundations. I think it is. Now, granted, a lot of those are doubles or triples because I do tend to bounce between different shades. And that's also a mixture of my high-end foundations and my affordable foundations. So I think without all those, I think I counted around 45 or 46 foundations total, which is still a very, very, very large amount of foundations. And I try to vary up my routine a lot and try different foundations every single day just so I can get through my products and actually utilize them. But I've been looking back at this foundation for so long and I know that I don't need it, but I might pick it up and actually like bite the bullet and do it this time. I might not though, because I already, I already have so many foundations. The other product is something that I really have been looking at for a couple of years and I've kind of stopped myself from purchasing it because of its price point. But I've had experience with using it before. My hairstylist, when I used to live in Maryland, she used to use it all the time and she raved about it. I was going to purchase it during the last sale, but I just couldn't put myself forward with actually like purchasing it because Nick and I had just moved into a house. I just bought a brand new car at the time. So I just couldn't justify spending the money on this product. And right now I'm still like, oh, because of the situation that we're in, I don't know if I actually want to put forward the money for it, but it is the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer, the original one. It retails originally for $399. Ah, it's over $400 for a hair dryer. I've never spent that kind of money on a hair dryer, but with the 20% off that I get, that's $80 off. So it's $320. I still don't know if I can justify spending over $300 for a hair dryer, but it's one of those purchases that like I have been wanting for so long and I will get use out of it so much. It's super lightweight. And because I go to the gym very frequently and I go to work after the gym and I always get ready at the gym, it's super lightweight. It's easy to travel around with. I think it might be worth it because I just, I don't know, but it's just so much money. So I still, I don't know if I'm gonna be purchasing it now or if I'm gonna save some more money. So when the Sephora sale rolls around in either August or November, I'll repurchase it then. I don't know. I will let you guys know in a future video if I decide to purchase that. But that is something that I am looking at. Okay guys, so I just went through a ton of different products. <laughs> I know it's gonna be a very long video, but I wanted it to be a little bit informative at the beginning in terms of when you can expect the sale to roll around, how much money you're going to get off of it, and then also go into products that I am either repurchasing or looking to purchase and will be purchasing during the time frame. If you are interested in seeing what I actually end up purchasing once the time rolls around, please let me know because I tend to change my mind quite frequently. I still have a week until I actually, the sale rolls around, and I might change my mind on a few products. So let me know if you wanna see that video for before I do roll this out, I would like to say again, please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe to my channel, and then let me know what products are you thinking about purchasing during the Sephora sale. Yeah, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day.